Hi guys, Matt Collins here from Beausoleil. What I'd like to look at in this video is fish care. How to safely lift carp out the water, how to weigh them and return them safely. The first thing we've got to do as soon as we've caught a fish is safely secure the net. Now I normally do this with a, uh, with a step spare bank stick and uh, just push that bank stick through the, uh, through the spreader block so that the uh, carp can't charge off and uh, uh, drag the uh, drag the net in. You don't want to put the net uh, very very close either. Uh, see uh, some anglers kind of uh, pull the net right back over the uh, over the edge of the swim, and uh, it means the carp is very very tight to the edge. And if it moves, uh, it, it can basically bump into the uh, side and damage itself. As soon as we've secured the net, the next thing we need to do is make sure that we're all all organised. That's forceps, antiseptic scales, camera, mats, slings, it's all got to be prepped, it's all, all got to be there and ready. Bucket of water to keep the carp uh, cool of course. Whichever way you do it, cut the rig, unclip the rig, cut the main line, doesn't matter, but separate the rod and the, um, uh, from, from the carp. Next we need to wet the sling and uh, make sure that it's properly uh, properly soaked and that the mat is wet as well and then put the sling on the uh, on the scales zero that off before we even you know uh, get the carp out of the water with the sling at the ready we can break down the net and then slide the carp while it's still in the net into the sling this is much safer for the carp it's very important to check that the fins are flat to the fish's body before we put any load on the sling at all. Once we're happy, gently lift the carp out of the water, letting as much of the water drain off before we actually uh, uh, transfer it into the, uh, into the mat. Always move the mat very close to where you're going to take the fish out of the water. You only want to move it a few feet and there's absolutely no excuses to be carrying a fish 30 feet across the swim. As soon as the uh, carp is safely in the mat, we can unfold the net and the first thing we need to do is uh, get that hook out. Now most of the time you should be able to do this with your fingers and it's just a, it's a bit of a bit of a technique uh, but a uh, combination of thumb and uh, index finger applying pressure in the right, right way and that those hooks should just pop out nice and easy. With beak point, point hooks You've got to remember that the hook has got to come out the way it came in so you've just got to basically kind of roll roll it out once you've unhooked the carp do put the rig somewhere safe now we're ready to take the carp out of the net as you can see here i carefully lift the carp out of the net then slide the net to one side and lower it beside the net in the bottom of the mat clear the net safely out of the way and we're ready to have a look a proper look at our carp in hot weather it's very important to keep the, uh, keep the carp as, uh, as cool as possible and work quickly. So if necessary put, uh, uh, put some water over the carp. Now we're ready to weigh the carp. I always prefer to weigh the fish before photographing them. One because I know exactly how, um, uh, how heavy they are and it just helps kind of settle the fish, gives it a time to um, uh, calm, calm down a little if it's a little stressed. Once you're happy with the weight that you've got, safely transfer the carp back to the cradle. Next, I want to show you how to pick up a carp safely and take a decent photograph of it. Carp, unlike us, are cold-blooded creatures. It means they're very sensitive to uh, external temperature. When you lift a carp out of the water, the carp's body is the same temperature as the water. So, if the water is 12 degrees C, the carp will be at 12 degrees C. Now, if you can imagine what it would feel like to the carp to be handled by your hands, and your hands are gonna be you know, 30 degrees C or, um, uh, or, or whatever, the best thing that we can do is to make our bodies the same temperature as the water. To do this, all we need to do is chill our hands and wrists just for a minute or so in the lake before we handle a carp. This is especially important in, uh, in cold weather uh, because the temperature difference obviously between the carp and your hands is going to be at its greatest. By doing this 
we minimise the stress to the fish and it will behave better on the mat for you. Best way to calm a carp down, keep their eyes covered and just keep one hand on the tail there just in, uh, just in case it decides to flip. You can see, uh, you can see their uh, them tense up if they're going to do anything. So we're ready to pick this carp up now and um, just lift the tail, get your hand underneath there and you want to grip that, uh, grip that anal fin like that. You do not want to hold the carp underneath the stomach like that, it's very uncomfortable for them. So grip the anal fin and that's fine. Just be careful of uh, not to lift any scales. Right, at the head end, I'm just keeping the eye covered just to uh, keep him calm. You see, just have a little tense up there. Now what we need to do is, from the mouth, slide a hand along and I'm looking for that fin. So just get that fin and just tilt the carp upright. Support the carp. I'm not, I'm not letting that carp sit on his stomach. It's a very bad idea to sit a carp on his stomach. Very uncomfortable for him. So once we've securely got both fins, we can lift the carp. And if it's a big carp, then just get him up there like that. And then support your elbows on your knees like that. So here we go, perfectly safe, perfectly stable. If the carp were to um, you know, tense up or uh, uh, display a sign that he's going to flip, all I would do is just rock him back and lower him back down like that. Now one thing that you'll probably want to do is, um, uh, is photograph both sides of the fish. And uh, rather than trying to kind of pick up the carp and manhandle him around um, uh, in, the, uh, in the cradle, uh, a couple of options, you can pick up the, uh, the, the cradle and spin that round in front of you or, because he's still in the sling here, we can just cover him back up, pick up the sling, turn the sling around and that's how to safely turn a carp around. So let's just do his other side here. Again, starting from the mouth, reaching round for that pectoral fin, holding the round the uh, anal fin, up in the air, get that elbow on the knee, bring the other knee up, and there we have a very stable and safe position for both you and the fish. So we've got a great photograph of our carp. Now we need to look at to putting in any antiseptic or um, uh, treating any wounds on the body that we, uh, that we see. No matter what antiseptic product you use, the golden rule is that you should actually dry the, the wound or the hook hold before you apply the product. It's no good just squirting a bit of um, the uh, uh, antiseptic on if, it, if it's wet. Um, it, it'll just run straight off. If temperatures allow, it's a good idea to uh, leave the product on there for a minute or so before you return the carp to the water. In hot conditions, it's probably best just to slip that carp straight back. The mucus that covers a carp's body is part of its immune system. We need to protect that as best as possible. Try, if at all possible, avoiding the carp contacting your, your clothes, your sleeves, uh, your, your, your chest. You know, sometimes if a carp uh, wriggles, then you need to control them. But uh, the more that we can avoid touching their, uh, their, their bodies with our clothing, the better. Thank you.